Hello guys and welcome to another day of Nugget of the Day. This is Nugget 5, a presentation of regional for trainees.com. In today's Nugget, we discuss why ropivacaine is less cardiotoxic than bupivacaine. Well, if you didn't know, then the answer lies in molecular structure. As can be seen here, bupivacaine has got one more carbon atom as compared to ropivacaine and it is the number of atoms that determine molecular weight of any molecule. Therefore, ropivacaine has got less molecular weight as compared to bupivacaine. This is in turn related with lipid solubility. Therefore, ropivacaine has less lipid solubility as compared to bupivacaine over 10 folds less. And lipid solubility confers toxicity to any amide local anesthetic. Therefore, ropivacaine is less cardiotoxic than bupivacaine. Another reason is stereospecificity. With R plus uh, stereoisomers being more cardiotoxic than S minus stereoisomers. Because ropivacaine is a S minus enantiomer, uh, it is less cardiotoxic than bupivacaine, which is a racemic mixture. Overall, with ropivacaine, we see that ropivacaine is less potent, about 25% less potent than bupivacaine. The onset of CNS symptoms occur at a higher plasma concentration. There is less depression of peak myocardial contraction velocity. It is less arrhythmiogenic. It has a higher CVS to CNS ratio, conferring higher margin of safety. And it is easier to resuscitate a patient from ropivacaine cardiotoxicity as compared to bupivacaine cardiotoxicity. So the next time you use ropivacaine, think of all that we have discussed. And until next time, adios amigos.